Can we design a compost facility on a temporary site with no contracts in place and where there's limited carbon available? Can we also design it for 20,000 tons per year but expandable to at least double the size? We completed this facility six weeks ago together with AECOM Engineering and Claystone Waste. It's already at the 20,000 ton capacity. This facility features compost blending, aerated static pile composting, and screening before curing to allow recycling of the larger woody bits. The incoming organic waste is blended with a Supreme Twin Auger Mixer which blends a minimum of 300 tons of product per day. The mixer is important for two reasons. First, with an aerated static pile we need a thorough blend of material because we don't get a second chance. We want to coat all the woody bits with organic material to optimize microbial activity. Second, under the Alberta Code of Practice, we're required to meet specific moisture content and bulk density parameters. The blended organic waste is placed on the aerated static piles with a loader and covered with a biocover layer. This is for insulation as well as for odor control. There are 20 aerated windrows measuring 120 feet long, 26 feet wide and 13 feet high. The piles are positively aerated by centrifugal blowers controlled by timers and temperature feedback. Air is delivered through two 8-inch HDPE pipes embedded in a wood chip base. We found that the blowers need to operate at least every 15 minutes at first in order to maintain adequate oxygen in the piles. At this time of year, we mix the piles after 10 to 14 days. If the piles have been aerated adequately, there's little to no odor in the material at this time. The mixing blends the material, exposes new surfaces and redistributes the moisture, allowing the compost process to continue. After a further 10 days, the material is ready for curing. Before curing, the larger wood chips are screened out using a 1-inch screener. The overs are recycled as bulking agent for the compost process. The overs provide microbial inoculum which further optimizes the compost process. The fines, which make up about 40% of the total volume, are further then cured on a similar sized piles as the primary aerated piles. The site is constructed to allow these piles to be managed with a loader or a compost turner that can mix and aerate the material as well as maintain adequate moisture for optimal curing. We know that the organic material will change as we go into the winter months. We know that the temperature changes dramatically and we'll have to adapt to optimize the process. For now, the compost process is working very well. We're now ready to double the capacity of the facility. My name is John Paul. I'm a soil scientist and waste management specialist. Thank you.